Oh, there's a red-eyed tree frog right there. Check that out. We'll get right behind here. That's a nice one. Look at that. Oh, man. Teddy, yeah. look to your left. Two up, down. Perfect. Look at that. That is a big tree frog. Oh, got it. There we have now. Oh, I hear you. During the wet season, Costa Rica is famous for having endless days of torrential rain, which makes filming episodes incredibly difficult. This is one of the most incredible fossorial creatures. Hey, Coyote, I'm, I'm sorry to stop you, man. The, the, the camera's getting doused. I'm afraid we're gonna lose the camera. Ah, uh, dude, we have to film this animal. I know. On one hand, this natural rainforest cycle presents challenges. However, it also creates the perfect conditions for finding reptiles and amphibians. While on the Caribbean coast, we spent several days exploring the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Preserve. And this expanse of mid-elevation rainforest is home to one of the richest populations of frog species on the planet. All right, we are rolling. Check that out. And you are in some mud. This is definitely a good sign. It has rained quite a bit here in the rainforest. Now, recently we just showed you guys an episode with the red-eyed leaf frog, probably the most famous amphibian species here in Costa Rica. And while we were out at night, we kept seeing these larger tree frogs. They're green, they also have red eyes, and they're actually called gliding tree frogs. And I figured you guys probably want to see this up close for the camera. So what we're going to do tonight is head over to this pond where they have come down from the trees, work our way through this gloppy mud, and get some up close for the camera. Typically, these frogs can only be found high up in the canopy. However, when large rainstorms push through, they descend from the treetops to begin breeding. And because of this, we were able to witness all stages of this creature's life cycle. From eggs, to tadpoles, and of course, plenty of adults. Get ready to meet the gliding tree frog. Let's see what we can find. Oh, there's a little frog right there. Great place to look for creatures. There's a turtle. Look at that. See a turtle? I see a turtle. Think you can catch it? I'm gonna most definitely catch it. All oh, right. I see it. Keep the lights on it. Got it. Nice. Woo! There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a little deep right there. there. Check that out. Wow. Well, we've seen me jump into the water and catch turtles before, but not for this species. That is a white-lipped mud turtle. Not musking on me, though they are capable of musking, like most uh, musk and mud turtles. Look at that. Sharp front claws, too. And the bite of this turtle is, ooh, yeah, pretty powerful. You see how long they can extend their neck out. I see you, yes, no, my finger is not a tadpole. This turtle's definitely too small to be eating any large frogs, the ones that we would be looking for, but tadpoles and little froglets are definitely fair game. So we're gonna put him back into the pond and see if we can find ourselves some frogs. There he goes. Bye, buddy. Oh, they bury quick, okay. Oh, look at this. Ha, perfect. Right on the edge of the pond, exactly. Wow, okay, there's a snake right there next to us with a mouthful of eggs. That is a cat-eyed snake. Wow, it does have an egg hanging out of its mouth. Okay, caught this guy right in the middle of dinner. I'm gonna take my flashlight off it, okay? You yeah. see it well enough? Yeah, oh, oh this is perfect, I and mean, we are just two for two here. I'm gonna gently bend this leaf around here for you, Mark. Look at this. You see that? Looks like fungus, right? Those are eggs. Those are eggs. Those are the eggs of the gliding tree frog. Now, this is one of the dangers of being a frog and why these frogs come down in the masses to lay their eggs because there's so many predators. These eggs aren't even gonna get the chance to develop into tadpoles and then drop down into the water. Kind of sad, but that's part of the cycle out here in the rainforest. All right, sorry, buddy, we're gonna disturb you during dinner. Let's see if I can just gently, oh, now your nose has been spotted. Oftentimes they will musk. It's a very cool snake. There we go, I just wanna be really gentle. Hopefully with that mouth full of frog eggs, you will be thinking, I'm full, I'm not gonna be biting anybody. Look at that. And these snakes have incredible balance. Look how it's capable of just completely extending out its head, almost like a vine. You see that? It's looking at your microphone right now, Mark, thinking, hmm, that looks like a place to escape to. You know you have some of your dinner on the side of your face. Are you aware of this? 
He's kind of like, you guys shouldn't have bugged me during here. Look at that. I can just feel how well this snake is capable of, watch this, it's gonna try to get out onto the tree limb. It can completely hold up the weight of its body. Look at that. Wow. So incredibly strong. Look at how it just slinks up the side of that tree. That is amazing. Let's see, can he actually hold on to that? He's gonna curl his body around. Wow, how about that? Well, two predators right in a row. I'm gonna let go of it. I feel like it doesn't even know that it has an egg hanging out of the side of its mouth. Can you see that? I can. Caught red-handed. Caught you, buddy. Robbing the nest of eggs. So cool. All right, what I'm gonna do is actually put him right back where he was. Uh, I know that he is eating the eggs of the frogs, but that is a part of the life cycle of these reptiles and amphibians and I do not want to disturb him from his dinner any more than we already have. Here you go. Okay, well that's a pretty good start. We walked out of the jungle right here to the edge of this body of water and already have caught two of the predators that are out here helping to control the population of these frogs. But for us, we want to get up close with one of these amphibians and this is the absolute perfect time to do it. Let's work our way along the edge of the pond and see if we can find some. Sound right. good? Yep, let's do it. All right. Come here. What do you see, what do you see? Look at this wandering spider. Whoa. That is an enormous spider. And if you walk underneath a branch like this and you bump it and that falls into your neckline and you take a bite, you are going to the hospital. Look at how big that thing is. All right, just again, guys, Mark, Mario, make sure you're paying attention everywhere that you are going. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's a red-eyed tree frog right there. Check that out. <laughs> we spent so much time looking for a red-eyed leaf frog the other night. And sure enough, there's one right there. Let's do this. Actually, get it up close for the camera. I can't let you not have a starring moment, little guy. Look at that. Ah, isn't that awesome? Oh man, Cody. Yeah. Look to your left. Should we go up, down? Perfect. Look at that. That is a big tree frog. Oh, got it. There we have now. Oh, I hear you chirping. There is the gliding leaf frog right next to the red-eyed leaf frog. Wow, now you can see the distinct differences between the two, and you'll notice the differences in the eye color. You see that? The red-eyed leaf frog has a much more brilliant orange to its eye, and the gliding variety is darker brown and significantly bigger. Now, the most distinguishing feature is look at the side of this frog's body. You see how yellow it is? All uniform in color, right? Mm -hmm. Yet, the red-eyed leaf frog, can you see the color on the side of its body? Oh yeah, definitely blue with those iconic yellow stripes. And you'll notice that the red-eyed leaf frog has very orange toes. Oh, where are you going? Come here. Very orange toes and very yellow toes on the gliding leaf frog. And the size difference is really the big thing. So Coyote, I noticed that you're holding the male. How big are the female gliding frogs? Those are almost twice the size of the male, and that's what I really want to get up close for the camera. So let's keep searching, put these frogs back on their leaves, and hopefully we'll find one. You ready? Yep, yep. let's put them back. All right. Whoop. Yeah. Got it right back here. Ready? Ah, there we go. Look at that one out there on that tree branch. That one looks like it's pretty good size, and it will pose a little bit of a challenge. Watch that branch, here we go. One, two, three. Yep, go away. I got the frog. Here. Nice grab. Oh, I'm stuck in the mud. Okay, back up a little bit. Yeah, Coming up there. there. That is probably about average size for what we've seen tonight. Maybe a little bit bigger, but definitely the gliding tree frog. Look at that little creature. Wow, this is good because now my hand is wet and it's keeping the frog moist. And look at how those sticky pads are just gripping onto my finger. Now let's talk about the name of this frog for a second, the gliding tree frog. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, they must glide through the rainforest. Now when they leap, they spread out their arms and their legs and then whap, 
land down on a leaf. It's speculative that they're actually gliding. It could just be the momentum of their body and the weight as they're hurling through the air that makes it appear as if they're gliding. Either way, this frog has definitely earned a very cool name. Compared to its body size, it's, its hands and its feet look quite large. Oh, they are, and it needs to have these large feet and hands because if it's sailing through the canopy from leaf to leaf, if it misses a leaf, let's say it just kind of goes off course, it only needs one hand to be able to grab on and then it will swing its body up underneath and be able to prevent itself from falling down to the forest floor. That's pretty cool to be out here in the rainforest where we're getting to see all phases of this frog's life tonight, from the eggs to the tadpoles to little froglets far out there in the water, and then of course the adults, which are just all along the edges of the pond. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let him hop back off into the wild. If you thought the gliding tree frog was cool looking, make sure to go back and watch our encounter with one of Costa Rica's most bizarre amphibians, the Sicilian. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trails.